Hey everyone, it's J.I.V. Lee, a.k.a. Nail Fertiti, and it's at underscore Nail Fertiti on Instagram and at Nail Fertiti on TikTok. So I'm back with another tutorial, and today we're doing this long stiletto kind of collaborative set that I did with my client. After I pushed back her cuticles, I noticed that she had extra dead skin on her nails, so I used this small cuticle ball bit, um, and I used it in reverse setting in order to um, clean off all that dead cuticle skin on her nail bed. And as you can also see, that some of her nails are um, kind of damaged because this is one of my loyal clients and she got into a fight. So <laughs> yeah, we're gonna um, fix up those nails and I'll show you how to do it. Usually when I do stiletto nails, I get a little nervous because I feel like my best sets are like taper square and I don't know why stiletto is so difficult for me sometimes, but I feel like this set was probably like my best um, stiletto set or one of my best stiletto sets that I've ever done. So now I'm just going in with my cuticle nippers and cutting off that excess cuticle. Now I'm going in with my 100 grit zebra sanding bands um, with a RPM of 6 on my uh, Melody Susie nail drill. I found these really cute pink lint-free wipes um, off of Shein. They are not completely lint-free because it is from Shein, but they're really cute and they match my pink aesthetic. So in order to fix the nails that were too short to like put the tips on, what I did was go in with um, some clear acrylic that I got from Mia Secret and did an overlay over the nails so then I can add an extra tip to the nails so I'm not gluing the fake nail tips to like the skin of the nail.
I'm going in with my 80 100 grit nail files that I got from Shein and shaping up the nails um, and buffing the surface of the nail with the 80 grit side so then that the fake nail tips can stick to the overlay. These are the tips that I'm using today. They're non C curve pre shaped coffin tips that I got off Amazon. I like the tips. Um, they were kind of C curve, so like um, I flattened them out pretty much, but they glued, like they stuck to the nail really quickly, and they were pretty sturdy as well. In order for the nail tips to be straight on the hand, I, as you can see, make sure that the client has her hand kind of dangling off of the armrest so then I can make sure that all the nails are aligned. I'm using the magnet method in order to cut these nail tips and they're all the same length. I said before that I really love the magnet method because it's beginner friendly and it's very easy to do. Usually I use my curved edge scissors to cut the nail tips, but I'm using my straight edge scissors to cut these nail tips and kind of give it a point at the end so then as I'm filing it doesn't take as long to file the stiletto tip and the the I make sure that the point is in the center so then my center is always there. These are the nail tips before they're filed and shaped. Now I'm going in with my sanding band to shape the nails more so then when I use the hand file it doesn't take as long and then I'm also using the sanding band to blend the tips into the nail. You can see it a little better what I'm doing to pre-shape the nail tips to be stiletto. Um, so I'm going down on the left side and up on the right and then just blending the tip into the natural nail.
Now I'm going in with my nail file and finally making the stiletto tip really sharp. And even with stilettos, I make sure to file underneath the nail. Now here are the nail tips finally sharp. I'm going in with my Mia Secret dehydrator twice over the nails. Then I'm using the Mia Secret uh, Super Bond Primer once. And then I'm using Classic Nude by Valentino with Mia Secret Monomer. It works really well for me. And I go in with um, Young Nails Protein Bond before I apply the acrylic to every nail. The reason why stiletto gave me such anxiety while doing them is because I never wanted my nails to look like flat or like they're boating. Um, so what I try to do is focus most of my acrylic application kind of in the middle slash the apex area. Um, so then the stilettos are really strong. So with my first bead, I try to make it really big, but also dry. Um, then I work that bead of acrylic down to the tip. And it's really important when doing stiletto nails to wipe the sides of your nails. And then I just use my fingers, kind of pinch the tip so then I can maintain that really sharp shape.
And here's the application on the thumb. Here's the final application. I'm going in with my five in one tapered barrel um, carbide nail drill bit that I got from Amazon from the company Panna. And what I'm doing here is smoothing out the surface of the nail. I'm trying to smooth out any bolting if there is any and also make sure that the shape is sharp and that the tip of the nail doesn't have like a hump like a weird hump from the acrylic application.
Now I'm using my nail file to do like a final shaping. I still make sure to go underneath the nail and then I make sure to get the sides of the nail, make sure that the shape is still very sharp. And then I use the 100 grit side to buff the surface of the nail. And I think I ended up doing the buffing first and then the filing later because I felt like um, buffing kind of like kind of dulls the shape out a little bit for me. And now here are the stiletto nails shaped, filed, and buffed. Now time for nail art. Um, so I'm putting this D&D &D gel non-wipe top coat on top of some of the nails because what I'm going to do is um, draw a French tip and a flame on these nails and then put the raw glitter on top of the nail and then have that be like... Um, kind of like a textured nail. And whenever I put top coat on, I always make sure to wipe the sides. Now I'm going in with a handmade light pink gel polish and it's handmade because I just mixed like a darker neon pink with a white to get this beautiful light pink color and I'm drawing my French tips. So my client came in with a bunch of different um, nail inspo picks that she wanted to like, you know, smush together into one set. So that's why I have the design on the ring and middle fingers because I did those like off camera. Now I'm doing my flame. I love drawing flames. They're really, really easy. What I do is start with like a curved line, then draw that up. And then on the other side, do another like curved squiggly line and draw that a little bit higher than the first one. Then on the bottom of the flame, I kind of try to round it out and then like make sure that the neck of the flame is, is uh, really skinny. Now on the thumb, I'm just drawing some random abstract lines that I will be covering with the raw glitter.
now it's time to add the glitter i'm using this white um kind of iridescent glitter that i got from michael's and i'm not really sure what the name on the other hand i switched the position of the french tip so instead of the french tip being on the pinky on this hand it's on the pointer finger and then i'm going to do a flame on the pinky nail but the thumb stays the same with the abstract lines And sometimes with drawing these um, like flames and stuff, mistakes are made. So I just use a little art brush that I got from Michaels, dip it in some acetone and fix my mistake. On the middle finger, I am drawing this eye. So what I do is use my dotting tool to draw like a big circle in the middle and then use my liner brush to kind of connect draw lines that connect to a point on the sides so it gives like an eye shape So for the eye, I kind of just followed the inspo picture, so I'm not really going to talk much and I'm just going to let you guys see how I draw it. So here is the final look of this glittery eye stiletto freestyle. Thank you again for watching my video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share if you love the video as much as I love making it. And I'll see you next time. Love you guys. The thumbs, OMG. Y'all know I have to get the thumbs. They're perfect. <laughs>